If you spend any time on the internet, then I'm positively certain that you've encountered the word woke at least once. Depending on what forms of media you consume, there's a good chance that so-called wokeness is a big discussion within these spaces. Whether you're a nerd seeing people criticize movies, TV shows, comics, video games, and other types of entertainment, due to being woke, or if you're interested in politics, especially American politics, then you've probably come to realize that this word is of big concern. However, you may be wondering what this word actually means, or you think you know what it means and you want to hear a different perspective, or you're pretty certain you know what the word means and just want to tell me what a fool I am. Each and every one of you is welcome, because today I want to delve deep into the meaninglessness of woke. When I first decided to make this video, I thought a good place to start would be to search up more recent definitions of the word woke, because that's what we care about right now, and I thought a person on the right would give me a good definition, because you know, they're the ones who use it all the time. And I thought to myself that perhaps one of the leading candidates to becoming the President of the United States has a satisfying and nuanced definition of the word woke. The belief that there are social injustices in American society and the need to adjust them. Yeah. No. Well, look on the positive side, at least he isn't using this vague and superficial definition to make legislation that will affect people's rights. Oh, wait. He is. You've probably also recently seen this clip go viral of Bethany Mandel, who is a conservative columnist and political commentator who recently helped write a book about the left and the woke indoctrination. So I'm sure she has a satisfying and well thought out definition of the word. And so she was asked to define woke after having just used it in an interview. And she had this to say. And if Americans consider themselves very liberal, and probably fewer of them consider themselves to be woke. And so, you know, when, when well, we talk about traditional- What does that mean to you? Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Because it's come up a couple times and I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is, sort of the idea that um, I this is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, woke is something that's very hard to define and we've spent an entire chapter defining it. It is sort of the understanding that we need to re -to totally reimagine and re re redo society in order to create hierarchies of oppression um, Sorry, I, it's, it's hard to explain in a 15 second soundbite. Well, yeah, look, your time. So far, my research has been quite disappointing. However, enough goofing around and laughing at the ill-defined nature of this word. This topic is a serious one, because when a word is being used with such little consistency, then it can easily be used for any purpose whatsoever. Whether it's used as a reminder for people to stay aware of injustice, or to call out greedy companies for using progressiveness to make money, and thus ruining the overall meaning of progression. Or it's used to refer to identity politics or progressive politics in general, or just any form of activism. The word can be changed into meaning whatever, and that shit is dangerous, and I want to go in depth with this topic. So no matter if your affiliation is to the left or the right, or the incredibly brave and noble center, or if you're simply an apolitical swine and want to know what the fuss is about, then join me because today we'll be raising the question, what does woke actually mean in today's environment? Now there is a simple answer to the question. Ultimately, woke is a buzzword used by conservatives for whatever they've decided to hate on in the given moment. Seriously, it feels like every other day Fox News and The Daily Wire have something new to call woke and degenerate. Oh, April O'Neil is now black in an upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. How woke of them. I'm sure all these middle-aged men crying about this iteration of an underaged character in a series about Kung Fu Turtles is completely justified, because why wouldn't it be? Oh, and Hershey's released a female chocolate bar and had a trans woman in the trailer. Let's completely overreact and make our own chocolate bars that are low-key kinda based. Thank you for using pronouns, Ben Shapiro. That's mighty progressive of you. Or what about when Tucker Carlson couldn't masturbate to the green M&M anymore? He was just defending his precious candy from wokeness. Or Matt Walsh teaching us the scientific reasoning for why a mermaid must be white. And these are just a few examples from 
only the past year. This shit happens all the time. Something comes out that portrays something that can be deemed progressive by some people, whether it's an intentional cash grab from a company or simply just the appearance of a person of color, and right-wing nutjobs will pounce on it, calling it woke and a sin. And it portrays how this word can be used for any purpose. It just has to be something that you don't like. And then you can probably blame it on the Wokies. However, while this definition is correct and absolutely portrays the complete lack of meaning that the word has and the dangers that come with its lack of definition, I still wanted to delve deeper into the different ways people use this word in order to truly fathom the ridiculous nature of it. But before we keep going, you should absolutely go check out the Fandom Initiative if you want more content like this. Also check out Actual Fandom, Organized Chaos, Will Iscredia, and Pop Counterculture, who are like me, except they're all sexy as hell. Also leave a like on this video and check out my Patreon, but nonetheless, you scoundrels, let's get back to the video. Now we're going to go all the way back to the origins of this word, and you're probably familiar with it already. Essentially, the phrase stay woke was originally used by the black community as a means to remind themselves and each other to stay aware of anti-blackness and social discrimination in society, and as a way to stay alert for signs of injustice and dangerous situations. The phrase stayed relatively isolated within smaller communities for the majority of the 20th century. However, with the murder of Michael Brown, the word woke began gaining traction in the mainstream media, as it began being associated with the Black Lives Matter movement. And like with most meaningful things that get into the attention of the mainstream media, the phrase has been completely annihilated. Any sense of the original message of the word woke has been lost. However, for a while, woke actually did mean something. Even now, when you search up the definition of the word woke, you will quickly find that it means being alert and aware of systemic injustice in society, most commonly referring to racism. This is a positive thing. So why doesn't the word feel positive anymore? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Woke has been hijacked. A lot of the time nowadays, woke gets used to describe anything that is even remotely left-leaning. And people on the right often use it to describe people on the left. And people on the left often don't want to associate with the word anymore due to its negative connotations. However, something doesn't even need to be a leftist or progressive idea to be deemed woke. It just needs to be more left than fascist or far right. There are probably even people out there who think that regular conservatives who genuinely just believe in conservative values are woke. I genuinely believe that. And when it comes to media, which is where this use of the word woke really thrives, then it's often used to criticize a piece of art or media, equating the piece of media's supposed lack of quality to the fact that it's shoving politics down our throats. And not because said piece of media is simply poorly made, or even just due to a difference in what people think is good media. It's just so easy to state that all the bad movies coming out now are bad because of wokeness and identity politics. And something you'll often hear is this idea that Hollywood should go back to making fun apolitical movies again, said by people who then refer back to the good old days by referencing a movie that is inherently political. Another way to understand the use of the word woke is how it has become synonymous with political correctness, and thus is seen by many to be in the same ballroom as cancel culture. At least, according to a certain mindset, a person who is woke will most likely be a person who takes part in cancel culture. Now again, the word woke is functionally meaningless, and cancel culture is also very ill-defined, often being over-exaggerated in its effect and prevalence, and any real consequence of social justice cancellation online is often pushed to the side by conservatives to instead focus on celebrities getting called out for being hateful and facing pushback for their words and their actions. Despite some actual examples of toxic cancellation, most of the time it's simply just free speech. However, there doesn't even have to be politics involved for something to be labeled woke. The mere presence of a person of color or a woman or a gay person in a piece of entertainment can cause an outrage within certain communities, even if there is nothing inherently political about said piece of media. Naturally, it's believed by the person using the word that this person of color has been placed in the movie due to a political agenda meant to force the consumers to hate white people so that Brie Larson and Kathleen Kennedy and Hillary Clinton can finally rid the world of white men once and for all! Sorry about that. I let my method acting get way out of hand. I apologize. No, but seriously, nowadays, even just the casting of a person who isn't a white man in a movie or TV show will often be seen as diversity hiring and be labeled woke. 
There doesn't even need to be a political message. It doesn't need to be criticizing parts of society. It just needs to be diverse. This is where woke truly loses its meaning. You don't need to use the word correctly, you just have to use it. And sadly, the word is almost always used on the basis of bigotry. And whether it's intentional bigotry or due to underlying bias, woke is nevertheless the weapon of bigotry. Now, bigotry is a word that many people hate, often because it probably applies to them. A bigot is a person who regards or treats the members of a group, such as a racial or ethnic group, with hatred and intolerance. And yes, this definition is very serious, because bigotry is serious. But I think there's nuance to the word. For example, I don't think that every person who uses the word woke to criticize a piece of media is necessarily racist or misogynistic or homophobic, not even in the slightest. I sure as hell know a lot of people who just throw around the word without really thinking too much about it or using it as a standout for political correctness. However, there can be underlying biases that the person isn't aware of. And no matter the intention, there's no escaping the fact that the spreading of the word woke within certain communities online to blindly criticize media that contains people from specific social groups is taking part in spreading a bigoted and hateful ideology and rhetoric. Again, you don't have to hate people from a minority social group to perform a bigoted action. Ignorant intentions don't always justify hateful outcomes. The reason that the word becomes dangerous and prone to promote bigotry is because it has become a buzzword that can literally just mean whatever you want it to mean, and is thus being used by right-wing media commentators and politicians to meet their political ends. Woke isn't the only buzzword like this. Some others include SJW, Agenda, The Message, They, Jews, Groomer. Other words that have no clear definition. Well, actually, they do have a clear definition, but that definition has been twisted to mean something else entirely, and can thus be used to justify pretty awful things. It's essentially taking words that actually have meaning and making them a shell of that former meaning, getting misused for harmful purposes. And to end off, let's just examine some of the dangers that come from wokeness becoming a meaningless buzzword. Firstly, as we've seen with Republican politicians and pundits, as well as YouTube commentators, the word gets used to undermine calls to attention for serious issues in society, such as systemic injustice and discrimination on the basis of skin color, sex and gender, sexuality, religion, and more. And the use of the word is often incredibly unclear when used in politics. Going back to the definition that Ron DeSantis and his team gave, which is the basis for their legislation on restricting woke things, then the problem with this just becomes evident. How is it not raising more eyeballs when one of the leading representatives of the Republican Party wants to limit or even criminalize any form of activism that they don't like, or even just the acknowledgement of systemic issues in America if he could. That's fucked up. We've seen the consequences of ill-defined words being used to suppress people too many times for this to not be of serious concern. And lastly, the more the word woke gets thrown around without any sense of consistency, the more resentment is going to grow for minorities, social activism and movements, and just progressive ideas in general. Even if most of the people who use this word aren't really against these things at all, these are still the eventual consequences that the meaninglessness of the word woke will have, and honestly the consequences that it's already having. It's a concerning thought. Now, I don't think it'll come as a surprise that I'm on the left, quite evidently so. And so I naturally have a bias towards my own way of thinking, and I have pretty intense opinions on other people who don't share my values and worldviews. I'm sure that some people will be thinking that I'm only focusing on buzzwords from the right, and why shouldn't I mention words like toxic or toxic masculinity or far right? Phrases that I've seen go again in my comment section a lot from people saying that these are meaningless buzzwords used simply to call people bigots. However, are those words being used? to create legislation that will limit free speech? If you think that they're just as dangerous as what DeSantis and others are doing with woke, then please let me know. And so, if you have watched this far, then I encourage you to take part in this discussion down in the comments. Does the left have the same kind of meaningless buzzwords as the right does? And if so, which ones? And which effect do they have? If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and also check out my Patreon. Also go subscribe to Actual Fandom, Organized Chaos, Willis Greedia, and Pop Counter Culture. But other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, stay safe and peace out.